How to unzip zip files on the iPhone. First of all, let me tell you this. Huh? To unzip zip files on an iPhone, no third-party applications are needed. There are tons of videos out there that will actually tell you the story that you need to download a third-party application to unzip a zip file on the iPhone, which is simply not true. So do yourself a favor and just don't do that because it's simply a waste of time. With that said, to unzip zip files on your iPhone, here's how you do it. First of all, we have to open up the files app and locate our zip folder. To do that, with one finger from the middle of the screen, swipe down and then search for files. Then tap on files here on top. Now locate your zip file. In my case, I have it here. It's called 3images.zip because, as you probably guessed it, it contains three images. Now unzipping a zip file on the iPhone is incredibly easy because actually all you need to do is to simply tap on your zip file within the files app here. So I'm going to tap on it. And just like that, our zip file has been unzipped. You can find the folder here. This will create a blue folder like this here, and the name will be the same as for your zip file, but obviously without the extension .zip. Then you can simply tap on the folder here. And as I mentioned before, we have three images here in our zip file. I can now simply tap on one of these to open it up. Here's a picture of a security guard in front of an embassy. Then we have another security guard here in front of a nightclub. And last but not least, we also have a journalist here, which at the same time also seems to be a plant enthusiast. To close the file in the upper right corner of the screen, simply tap on done. Now let me also quickly show you how to open up a zip file when you download it in your browser, for example, in Safari. So first of all, we would open up a Safari. Then navigate to the website from where you would like to actually download a zip file from. In my case, I have chosen the website called thefont.com, where you can find free fonts. But this is simply to show you how it works in Safari. This could be any kind of website and any kind of zip file. So to show you guys, I'm simply going to download this Just Breathe font. To do that, I just have to tap here on download. So let me tap on it. Safari will then ask you if you would really like to download this file. And yes, we want to do that. So we tap on download here. Then in the upper left corner of the screen, you will actually notice this down arrow symbol. When you tap on that, You can then go to Downloads and you will find your fresh download there. And this will actually open up the zip file in your files application. So we have it here now, just as we had before with these three images.zip. And to unzip it now, it's exactly the same thing. All you need to do is to simply tap on it. And just like that, you unzip your zip file. You will then see this blue folder here with the same name again, but without the extension zip. Just tap on that and you will then see all the contents of that zip file. It's that easy. When you do that in Google Chrome, it actually works in the almost exact same way. So after downloading a zip file in Google Chrome, you would also have to go to the Files app. And in that case, when you select Browse here in the lower right corner of the screen, you should see a Chrome folder and the downloads will usually go in there. If you can't find them there, also make sure to check Downloads here because maybe it saved them into Downloads instead. But in one of these two locations, you will surely find your downloaded zip files that you downloaded in Google Chrome. Now when it comes to compressed files, you might sometimes also need to deal with .rar files instead of .zip files. Here actually the Finder app is not going to save us because we cannot unzip or let's say extract .rar files in the Files app unfortunately. So if you do have a .rar file that you would like to unzip or extract, what you have to do is to use an application called Shortcuts. The Shortcuts app comes pre-installed on newer iPhones. So there's a very good chance that you already have the Shortcuts app installed on your iPhone. To check, swipe down with one finger from the middle of the screen, then write shortcuts. Then you might need to swipe down a bit here. And under apps, you should find shortcuts. If you don't find it, go to the home screen, then have a look for the app store. Tap on it. Go to search in the lower right corner of the screen. And then on top, search for shortcuts. Tap on the blue button. And then re-download or simply install the shortcuts app from here. In my case, it says open, but you will either see a cloud symbol if you already had it on your iPhone before, or you might see something like get. In any case, tap on either get or on this cloud symbol to install and download shortcuts. Once you have shortcuts on your iPhone, you want to make sure to open it up. In my case, it is here, so I will simply tap on it. 
And now what we're going to do is we're actually going to create a very useful shortcut that will help us to extract .rar files. The cool thing about this is that we're actually creating some sort of automation that you can then use over and over again whenever you have a .rar file. However, this new shortcut is not going to be limited to extracting RAR files because with this simple shortcut, we can also unpack zip files, tar files, and even ISO files. So, so this shortcut is extremely useful and will come to your rescue whenever you need to extract some files. So with that said, to create a new shortcut, in the upper right corner of the screen, tap on the plus symbol here. Then tap on open app. Then tap on the add action button. And then on top in the search field, search for the action Select file, then tap on it. Then at the bottom we will search for yet another action, which is extract. So we will type extract. And what we need is extract archive, so we tap on that to add it. And we now have two actions here. First of all, we're going to select the file. In our case, this is going to be the .rar file. And then we're going to extract that .rar file. And this is what our second action here will actually do. Now at the bottom, search for yet another action. And this time it's going to be save file. You might also have this under next action suggestions. If you do, you can also select it from here. If not, just write save file. And then tap on the action save file. You should now have a total of three actions here in the same order as I have here on my iPhone. Now we are basically done, so we tap on done in the upper right corner of the screen. Now to use our shortcut we can simply tap on it here. This will open up the files app automatically. Then here locate your .rar file. And then tap on it. Next you have to decide on where you would actually like to save the uncompressed files. I'm here now in the downloads folder and I'm completely fine with that. So I'm not going to change that, but you could tap on here and then choose on my iPhone instead. And once you made that decision, the upper right corner of the screen, simply tap on open. Our shortcut now has been executed. We now go back to the home screen and with one finger from the middle of the screen, swipe down, then write files again. And on top, tap on Files to open up the Files app. Now locate to the folder within the Files app where you actually decided to save the uncompressed files. In my case this was download, so I tap on that. And we have the .rar file here. And just above we also have this folder now with the very same name but without the extension, which is actually the folder that we just uncompressed with our newly created shortcut. So to see the contents now, we can simply tap on the newly created folder. And sure enough, we have our contents of the .rar file here, which in my case was simply three different photos. And this is how you unzip zip files on the iPhone and even open up .rar files with the help of Apple's shortcuts application. If you enjoyed this tutorial, make sure to smash the like button and subscribe for more iPhone tutorials.